The president came out swinging today about the effect on American families when the budget acts falls in less than two weeks. 85 billion across the board cuts, that's sequester. And the president likened it to a meat cleaver. Here's ABC's chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl. Today, the president brought firefighters and cops to the White House to warn that emergency workers will be among the first to go if those across-the-board spending cuts are allowed to happen. We've got these automatic, brutal spending cuts that are poised to happen next Friday. They will hurt our economy. They will add hundreds of thousands of Americans to the unemployment rolls. This is not an abstraction. People will lose their jobs. And we now face cuts of $85 billion in one fell swoop. That's less than 3% of the budget, but the White House says virtually everybody will be hurt. And we'll see long lines as TSA agents are furloughed, 1,000 FBI and other law enforcement agents forced off the job, and 70,000 preschoolers dropped from the Head Start program. You'd think that would prompt emergency meetings between Congress and the White House, but you'd be wrong. Has the president had a single face-to-face -face meeting with Republican leaders since January 1st about averting these spending cuts? I, I don't have any meetings to read out to you. Again, we don't report every meeting, every conversation. In fact, the answer, according to sources on both sides, is that there have been no meetings between the president and Republican leaders, not one. And now virtually everybody agrees that these cuts are almost certain to go into effect in just 10 days.